Hello. <laughs> hi, everyone. Oh, hi. <laughs> How's it going? Audio check? Hi. Is my voice good? Too loud? Hello. I'm good. Yeah, hi. Nice to see everybody. Music still on for you? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if the music's on for you. I wouldn't be able to hear. Okay. Yeah, so today, guys, we'll be drawing 100, 100 eyes. So I'll be sharing a bunch of techniques, you know, trying to fit all of it in and have this nice doodle. <laughs> and what this? So this grid right here, we're going to fill it all in with different eyes. And I guess uh, I should label what I plan to do. Yeah, welcome everyone. Hi. So I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna write them down here. So I'm gonna do happy, and then sad, and then angry, uh, what else? Tired. So we're gonna fill in this grid pretty much and it'll be fun and confused. Right here. And let's see, what else am I missing? Alright, after I fill this in, you know, get everybody up to speed, I will share some stuff. And what about this one? Wide? Hmm, how would I describe it? Maybe like wide-eyed. And then, what else? Exaggerated. So what I'm going to be doing... Yeah, it's a 50, pa 50 pairs of eyes, I'd say. So, like, 100 eyes. All in all. <laughs> yeah. Art style is a mixture of anime and realism. Yeah, we'll try to get to both here. So what we'll be doing, right, is this, uh, this grid. So happy and wide-eyed, it's gonna combine, right? And then wide-eyed and sad will be combined for this one. Angry, wide-eyed. So it's this sort of grid system. That I was thinking of. And then teary. So I'm gonna draw eyes with tears here. And then hmm. I guess nervous would be another one for this one. <laughs> Dead inside. Good luck, man. Yeah, uh I think this is mostly gonna be anime eyes, so yeah. And I think now that I have that stuff settled, you know, before we begin, I wanna remind everybody that uh well, before that, I want to welcome everybody again, <laughs> in case some of you guys just came in. And in case you guys didn't know, our, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds stick together. And if you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links in our social media in the description below. And check out our website for our class offerings where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from instructors, because we're not just a channel, we're also an art school. So if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free stuff, you know, you can become a Patreon member, and you can get uh, access to my working files like this one, critique lessons, uh, critique sessions, class recordings, and a discount on our classes that have limited amounts of spots. So check it out. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, I have my stream. I have the stream open on another one. Let me close that. And right there. What are my pronouns? It's he, him. Thank you for asking. And let's see. So yeah, I guess now that everything's out of the way, all that's left is to draw a hundred eyes. And even though it's supposed to be a challenge, I think I'm going to keep it simple, nice and chill, as I always do. And I think I'm going to start off by drawing like a simple method, how I keep my eyes, you know, nice and orderly, symmetrical. And thank you. Yeah. Glad you love our stuff, so... Yeah, and be sure to comment stuff, because we do look at them, you know, we take your suggestions. And so I start off... So this is the easiest way to keep your eyes symmetrical, is to draw them at the same time right here. Dip. And I draw on the wrong layer. Because I know it's a common... I guess it's a common issue that people have, is, uh... Trying to get the eyes right here. Can I say laundry detergent? Laundry detergent. 
<laughs> there you go. This music is nice. Uh, who's the composer? It's called Vanilla, and it's from a site called Nova Syndrome. So it's, it's free music. So you could check it out. So, it's on YouTube actually, so look up Vanilla and Dova Syndrome. So yeah, lots of good music there, in case you were wondering. What's the box label for the left side again? Uh, hold up, give me a second. So I got wide-eyed, exaggerated, teary, and nervous. So the way it works again, to explain for people who just came in, you know, we're gonna combine these two on the grid, you know, we're working with the grid system. So we have like happy nervous, and then this one we have sad nervous, happy teary eyed, angry sad eyed. And I think, uh, I think I'm gonna need a lot of your guys' feedback, you know? Like, I want to take lots of requests for the stream. Will I draw eyes or part of the nose? I don't think so, no. Yeah. The grid keeps it nice and simple. So anyway, I'm gonna draw some simple straight straight looking eyes right here. So I start off with the eye, and Jesse likes to call this the piranha plant method. Because you know, if you think of piranha plant, right? Uh the head, and then you got the piranha plant mouth, just like that. So it's pretty much the same for eyes. So if you want to draw eyes in different angles, do the piranha plant method. It's a nice, uh, it's coined by Jesse. Right here, so right there. And then you can pretty much draw eyes in whichever angle you'd like. Like that. Or maybe I'll make this one way wider. Right there. And I'll talk more about it as we try different angles. But I just wanted to introduce the piranha plant method. And yeah, I am using Clip Studio, uh, Clip Studio for this one. Yeah, and now I'm going to draw the eyes, and you can see that I'm drawing them at the same time, right here. And I think this will be a little bit messy, because I don't know if I'll be able to clean up every single eye, right? So act like the eyes a glow, but but not limited to side to side. Yeah. Hi, welcome. Dear first, first lives to me. And then right here, we draw the bottom of the eye. And then I think at around this time, I think you should check the symmetry because I think this one is a little bit too short. So let me that. And that. And then I erase it. So I try to draw them at the same time so that it's easier for you to uh, keep track of both eyes. And I think that's pretty much how I draw all of my eyes. It's just the drawing grid. I'm drawing the grid by hand. Yeah, I didn't really draw the grid. I just uh, pulled it up on Google. And then use the grid, 5x5 five five grid. And right now, I'm just starting off with like a basic, super basic eye, you know. It's kinda realistic, kinda stylized, it's the in-between. Then I'm gonna draw the side, and then the side here. And then I'm gonna zoom out again, because I think, I still think this is a little bit too short. Usually I would redraw it, but we don't got time. And then boop. Got no time to lose. And I'm gonna draw this side, and then this side, and that, like the the tear duct. Deep, deep. And then I draw the bottom of the eye, and the bottom of the eye, just like that. The comfort zone. Yeah, I mean everybody. I think everybody's done this at some point, you know, just drawing eyes. And I forgot that there's supposed to be an expression. So I think I'm going to be drawing eyebrows as well. So hold on. Beep. 
Yeah, I think for this one, I'm just going to be drawing eyes and eyebrows. Try to express some emotion through the eyebrows as well. I think they're a big part. And I think it's too high up. Let me clean up the sketch a little bit. And usually when we're happy, uh, you can see it's kind of a wide-eyed expression. So if it's wide-eyed, you'd see more of the pupil. And I try to draw them very roughly. Right there. So you would see pretty much like the whole circle, more or less. That's how I like to draw it. And if you want, the added extra is that the eyes at the bottom, the eyelids, they're a little bit squinted because when you smile, you know, the muscles, they push up and then they also push on the eyelid. And let's see, <laughs> had art block for almost a month. Hey, Orange. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, it's like a Venus flytrap. Yes, just like piranha plants. <laughs> yeah, eyebrows, they add a lot. Which is why I cannot leave them out. And I think balancing it, you know, try to balance both of the eyes. You know, you work on both of them. Easiest way. Deep, deep. Oh, and I am drawing with that. <laughs> I mean, drawing traditional, it's still fine, right? Like, I haven't really been using layer techniques yet. I'm just doing it pretty much how I do it traditionally. Yeah, I think I'm taking too long on one eye now. You see, it's always the hardest to uh, keep it equal, <laughs> honestly. It takes time for me. And so I guess my short tip, right? To sum it up, the bottom lid is a little <clears throat> is a little lifted because of the smile. And I can see now. You know what? I'll do liquify. <laughs> deep, deep. Yeah, you got your sketchbook out. Nice. Yeah, so everybody. Draw along with me. And hold up. Let me let some light into my room. Cat eyes are the easiest to draw. Yeah, for sure. Because it's just a little... Kind of like a snake. You know, like the slit... The slit eyes. And I think this is unequal. So let me... I'm trying to see... Because I know it's unequal, but I don't know where, so I'm going to flip my canvas. So there it is. I'm going to... Now that i flipped my canvas, for some people, they like hold it up against the mirror. Yeah, you can tell. I'm kind of a messy artist, to be honest. <laughs> Dude. Dude. That's kind of... Hmm. Maybe... I would redraw it, but I would just move it <laughs> right there. And right there. Pointy eyes. Kind of a different. Oh, that's true. Pupil is more circular on one side. Yeah. And now, new host of problem. <laughs> Yeah, keeping the eye symmetrical. You can tell that I don't draw front-facing characters very often. I like to draw them in three quarters most of the time. Now that I realize. And I'm gonna zoom all the way again. 
Mm. I'll just use liquefy to move it around. There. And then I will erase you. I will try to fix the eyebrows a little bit. Right here. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, gold eyes for sure. They have like the weird, like, this, right? Oh, that's just sage mode Naruto, but... But anyway, on that topic, I think I'm gonna... Talk about how I render the eyes, I guess. Like a simple... Simple way of doing it. So I like to start off with the... This is the pupil, actually. The iris is the whole thing. And then... It's... Now I'm going to start using my layers. And I think I'm going to start off with like a basic blue for this one. Deep, deep. And so the way I color eyes right here is usually the top is the brightest. Or the top is the darkest, I should say. Like right here. And then the bottom is brighter. And usually, this is to replicate, you know, how eyelids work. Because eyelids, right? If I were to draw it from the side, it'd be like this. And I'm going to show you guys how to draw, like, a sideways eye later. And so, you could think of it as this way. Like, this eye is in shadow. Which is why usually artists, they like to make the top part darker. Octopus eyes are similar to goat eyes. I didn't know that. Maybe we could do that for later. You know, I'm gonna try like a fancy, fancy sort of eye. Beep. Mm. Right here. And then you could leave it as, as this, but they kind of look dead. <laughs> it's like, you know, there's no lights in those eyes, so I think we could add like a little highlight. So adding highlight gives it more life, makes the eyes more reflective, right? Right here. And then I think, I don't know if I should merge them actually. I'll just merge them actually, it's just to make it easier for me to mold around. Deep, deep. And right here. Always are a sideways peanut shape. <laughs> the dead inside eyes. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, adding that simple light makes it more alive. I'm gonna add the eye whites right here. And then I'm gonna merge it again. And just like that, we got two eyes, baby. Only took how many minutes? <laughs> I'm going to add the eyelashes. And I'm trying my best to like... Kind of replicate what's on the other side. Remember when I was drawing something? Flip backwards. No. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, I wanted to start off with like a really basic one. And so now... Now that we have like the basic stuff out of the way, I'm going to try doing like... A three quarters view now. Doop, doop. Just trying to make sure. So, an easy way to explain how to draw eyes in three quarter, right? Is that you could sort of pretend that the eye has a mask right here. So if this were the head, the the eyes would wrap around kind of like a mask, like this. And then maybe if it were like looking up. Just like that. And like that. So you could try it with a piece of paper. You know, draw like... Have like a rectangle split in half. And then draw like oblongs for it. And if you try to bend it around, you could see how the eye... Or like the shape. It like bends around. Based on the shape of the... Uh, the paper, I guess. And it's more or less the same principle. You know, it takes... I think to practice it. Either look at reference, you know, practice and draw it over and over. Try to keep track. 
or uh yeah just try to picture it that way let's see you can't flip your drawings you're gonna need to you're gonna need to because look at me i think flipping my flipping my layers helps a lot you know you just gotta what's it called you, you can do it <laughs> i know sometimes it's painful to look at because i think honestly right now my eyes are not the best they could be right here they're not symmetrical so let me try and keep them symmetrical but i don't want to take too long because like we got to keep it moving i have two eyes out of out of how many two out of a hundred <laughs> Um, Mirio, yeah. He just has like the the Tintin eyes. There, I'm gonna draw Mirio right now. I love Lamelia, but well, I guess I'm gonna try to draw first the uh, three quarters eye. Actually, I should. Yep. These sad eyes. They're not gonna be entirely. Uh, kind of hard to draw this without a face, but. I'll try my best. Deep, deep. Let's see. <laughs> I know, but it's it's fun, you know. Like, try to see where I'm at. Trying to see where I'm weak at, and apparently I'm weak at front-facing eyes. Because now that I think about it, I have not drawn front-facing eyes in a hot minute. Now I'm gonna draw sad eyes right here. And you can see that eyebrows, they help a lot with expressing. Right here. And I want them to be looking down, I think, just to add to like the expression. So where the eye is looking could really add a lot, you know, and you could do that by just drawing, drawing the iris, drawing the people, right here. And I'm gonna draw that, that. And let's see. I think I'm gonna make it bigger right here. Now, I'm just going to color it in. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Gotta see what chat is up to. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like, I think somebody commented that they wanted like a biblically accurate angel. I mean, I would have, but I think that's too hard to, uh, to try and convey. Like the hundred eyes, it does sound fun though to do it. I wanted to keep it simple, I guess. And then now, I'm going to color in the eye whites right here. So I'm going to start off with a leisurely pace, but then I think I'm going to gonna keep it fast soon. And then maybe I'll do like red eyes for this one. <laughs> yeah, and redoing drawings, I think it's, it's pretty natural. I've redone a couple drawings, you know? Because sometimes you just figure out that it's not working out, you know? It's part of the process sometimes. And that's why in class, you know, I tell this to everybody. I always tell them to start simple. Because if you start simple, it's easier to start over. You know, you don't get overly uh, attached to your sketches. Because I think that's another tip. Don't get overly attached really early to your drawing. Because you will change a lot of stuff. Right? And once you figure out what your drawing is, then that's when you start, you know, committing to it. It's a, it's a fine balance, pretty much. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it messy and then I'm going to try to come back. Oh, recreating something you really liked against somewhere else. Ooh. 
Do tell, like, what example? What did you like about it? Okay. I see, I see. Alright, why did I merge it? Oh my gosh. Just merging layers. Or my ninja. <laughs> yeah, this is why... I don't know if you guys know, but on my pen... Uh, that's actually my shortcut. My save shortcut is on my pen, because I do it so often. Drawing a character I struggle with drawing on paper and then it comes out really well, but then you can't do it again. Hmm. I think when it comes to that stuff, you gotta be more specific, you know, like, what can't you recreate? You can't recreate the pose, or you can't recreate the, the face, expression. I struggle a lot with that. Because I think to help you out with that, I think the easiest way is to try to figure out what you're struggling with. Character's features. Like, what kind of features? Like, uh, accessories? Or... Features. Or, like, uh, chin shape? Is that what you mean? Like, body... Body stuff? Correct. Because I definitely know what you mean. Sometimes you just make an artwork. And then you don't know how you did it. Face, body, whatever else. Then I think that's not so bad, uh, RNS. You just have to, uh, you just have to learn anatomy, you know, like try to figure out how, uh, or what you like about it and what you don't like about it, you know? Because I think that's another thing about learning how to draw. You know, everybody's like, yeah, draw every day, hardcore, no breaks. But in reality, if you draw like one good drawing, and then you study what you like and what you don't like about it. And then in the second drawing, you don't do it. That's a lot of learning, you know? So I think for this line, I'm going to keep it like nice and simple. Going to have the simple eyes right here to talk about what I'm doing right now. And then I'll get to... Uh, I'll get to the more fancy eyes, I think. And then this one, yeah, I think all of these are pretty much mild expressions, because in exaggerated, I think that's when I'll, uh, that's when I'll pop off, you know, do like the exaggerated stuff. And so for angry, usually the eyes are pretty wide, like you would see the, most of the pupils right here. And then the little wrinkle, same brow. <laughs> Why did Oreo go to the dentist? Do tell. Because he lost his feeling? What? <laughs> Oreo wise. I think we could do something like that actually. Maybe based on that joke, you know, dedicated to that joke, I will draw Oreo themed eyes right now. So, like a white and black. But in reality, it's just probably going to be silver. Dude. Here are some basic angry eyes. And I'm just, uh, I think this one is better actually, now that I'm warmed up. <laughs> These slightly front-facing eyes at a slight angle. And I think I wanted to do Oreo eyes right here. I'm going to... Grab the eye whites here. And paste that. Paste that. And I'm gonna do like a nice, nice black. There. And there. <laughs> Oreo filling. I mean, did you guys see the new Oreo that they were, that they came out with? Like, my mom got it for me, and it was like, it was like this. It was like crazy filling. Like this and this. So, like, the cookie, it's crazy. It's like super, 
they really laid it on thick for this one. Like, oh my gosh, the Oreo. Boom. Yeah, it's not mega stuffed. It's like, it's something new. It's not double stuffed. It's not the normal double stuffed Oreos. But yeah, now I will draw the Oreo eyes. And then I think for this one, I'm going to have fun with it. I'm going to add like a pattern. Mm, let's see. Because I don't see why not. Or maybe, hmm. Maybe I'll keep it simple. Keep it simple for now. Maybe I'll get to the crazy stuff later on. Beep, beep. And then, like this. I'm gonna add like a random shape right here. So like the middle part, the swipe, is kind of like the Oreo. Personally, I like the cookie more than the cream. Yeah, also hi! Welcome. Hi, Sue. Word. I know what you mean. Naked. This is a pretty wacky looking eye, but... <laughs> There's not really, there's no rules, honestly, to how you want to design your eyes, so. It just has to look nice, pretty much. <laughs> it's the, that's the nice thing about art. If it looks nice, it good, pretty much. Why don't I add eyelashes? Uh, good question. I will add eyelashes now. Because I thought this is enough, like, normal eyelashes, but... I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna yassify it right here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, the Oreo idea was not, it doesn't look very good right now. <laughs> I think I need to workshop this one a little. So I think I'm, I'm gonna keep it simple. Maybe you guys have suggestions on how to make it better, but. But I kind of want to keep the bottom part. Maybe that was the one part I really liked. Yassified. Black, white, heterochromia? Hmm. Maybe, maybe for later. Maybe for later. Because I don't think that would fit Oreo. Because, you know, Oreo, the way the pattern works is like cookie, uh, cookie, cream, then cookie, you know? So I'm trying to replicate that. So right here, the white and then the dark. So this is what I was thinking. Cookie, cream, cookie. Right there. There's your Oreo eyes. And I'm gonna darken this up just a little bit more. Yeah, so I really like this one actually. And then maybe I'll add like a nice light to really highlight the shape. This is like a better version of what I came up with earlier. So yeah, right there we have a nice Nice and angry expression. Neutral mad. Yeah, white pupils do look pretty nice, yeah. Love drawing white pupils. And what time is it? Okay, now I say you. Now tired looking eyes. So for tired, you know, they're pretty heavy lidded. Like we gotta we can try to make it look like they're really struggling to keep their eyes open. right here so excuse me try to keep it like heavy lidded and if you're drawing it in angle I think I'm gonna draw it in angle actually just to make it more interesting so if I draw it at an angle it'll be slightly curved like this and like this. Deep, deep. And maybe I'll move them apart a little bit. And I'll make it bigger. And then... I'm gonna follow through with the eye. Deep. <laughs> Homemade cookies. Yeah. So maybe this will be brown eyes, you know, since you guys mentioned cookies. 
Man, you guys are hungry today. Just mentioning biscuits and cookies and... Yeah, so now I will add brown. Deep. Food is good. I love food. Gotta be one of my favorites. Right, right there. And the eye. Deep, deep. I'm also hungry. <laughs> I know, and it's also really nice to to eat what you made, you know, like put all your hard work in it, and somehow it just tastes better, you know, that way. And also, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of difficult, because usually I draw the whole face, you know, like, give it more context, but... I think it still applies, like, the, uh... Some of the tips. It just could be applied better, I'd say. But I have to draw the whole head for it. Maybe I should have went with a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> But anyway, lasagna. So here's something controversial, guys. Controversial. Do you guys think lasagna is this cake or spaghetti flavored cake? Thoughts? Is that true? Do you guys believe in such a statement? That lasagna is a spaghetti flavored cake? And the mall was three dollars. <laughs> oh no, that's expensive. What the heck? It's a stack of noodles, right? So do you think it's cake? You know, cake is the same thing. It's a it's a layer of something. What even is cake, right? We have to deconstruct what what makes something cake. You know, what? You've never tried lasagna? Ain't no way. Orange, you gotta try lasagna right now. It isn't cake, it's pasta. Cake isn't pasta. Hmm. It's true. I'm trying to think of like a counterpoint. But that sounds like a reasonable statement actually. Actually, cake so does that mean is is cake just lasagna flavored? <laughs> Or, no, is cake just cream-flavored lasagna? <laughs> Who knows? This is big brain hours right now. I have to answer these questions. <laughs> Realistic-looking cakes. I know, it's like a big trend. Like, people would just try to make the most realistic-looking thing with cake. It's weird. And it is pretty convincing. Pasta is made from dough. Cake is made from batter. There you go. The definitive answer. Uh, you didn't miss too much. I drew like... One, two, three, four pairs of eyes. Right? So we're, we're making good progress here. And we're halfway through. Ah! We're actually halfway through. Uh... I'm gonna try to make it quick now because... Doop doop. And I'm gonna add like the eyelid, just like that. Lasagna is like wedding cake since it has several layers. Is pasta a bread? <laughs> I mean, they're both made of wheat, but no, I don't think it is. That's 16 sketches, and then what is it? Confused. If ice cream can be cake, maybe. Oh, pasta doesn't. Where in pasta, it don't grow. It don't grow in the oven because it doesn't have the yeast. All right, see you around. Here, this one I think confused. I will do the the eyebrow raise the rock. You could also, I think another tip I could give for a confused expression is to lift the the bottom eyelid a little bit. Because it's like, hmm? It's 
So yeah, it adds to the effect. So try to move stuff around, you know, move the eyes around, move the eyebrows. And I think I'm gonna spend less time coloring. I think that's what's taking long. So I think I'm just gonna go back and color some stuff. And then wide-eyed. I think I'm just gonna do a different anime style for this one. Because I'm just doing like a basic one. <laughs> I feel like bread with ice cream is... Yeah, I love bread with ice cream. It's really unhealthy for sure because of all like the fat. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, I love ice cream. Like you put like a normal like bread on it? For sure. It's banging. Those eyes are satisfying, right? And now I think I'm gonna do like a more round sort of eye so that it fits in. So wide-eyed, wide-eyed happy. I'm gonna exaggerate the bottom eyelids again because we talked about it earlier, right? And then eyebrow raise way up so these are lidded because of the smile and then the, the cheeks are pushing up the uh the eyes as well so now i'm gonna do this style of eye or maybe Mochi. Yeah. Welcome. Just talking about food. Why do... And not the bay? Um... I think it's because of fishing, right? I could be wrong. Because if they... No! No! It was a joke. No! There he goes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Taiyaki. Oh yeah, so good. The little fish bread. Like this. Okay, I did not expect the, the bagel joke. It's mochi. Uh, I pronounce it as like... Mo... Mochi. Well, less of the W, that's how I pronounce it. I think I'm gonna keep it simple now, actually. Uh, because I, I am barely halfway through, I think, but I will try to color it in. And then sad, sad, wide-eyed. So this is kind of like, maybe puppy dog eyes. And you can see I'm still doing the technique, right? I'm drawing them at the same time. And then, doop, doop. then I'm going to add eyelids. Doop, doop. And right there. I'm going to save the tears for like teary for later. Doop, doop. <laughs> what do you do when you feel extremely motivated to draw, but don't know what to draw? That's a good question. Hmm. Because, like, what do you usually draw? I think that would be the first thing to do. I would think of what I usually like to draw. And then, you know, I just did. But then, say, like, I also think of what I want to practice. So maybe, maybe I want to practice background. Or maybe I want to practice a specific body part. You know? So, yeah, maybe... Sometimes that would work, yeah, going on YouTube, but I think that's more trouble than it's worth because sometimes, uh, you get distracted. Now, why do ducks have tail feathers? Do tell. <laughs> so me getting over it. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a definite skull emoji for me too. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You end up spending more time just scrolling because it's so 
it's so easy to fall into the pit, you know, like, YouTube and all that stuff, it's made to have, like, a chokehold on you, man. Like, it's designed specifically for you to stay. So now I'm going to do angry, wide-eyed. And I think I'm going to go back and color... I don't know if I could color every single one, but, uh... But I guess I'll just ask for requests later on, depending on how much we got. And right here. <laughs> what do you call a cow with three legs? What? Lean beef. Ain't no way. Alright, what about this one, guys? What time do astronauts eat? Any guesses? What time do astronauts eat, guys? <laughs> well, the time that astronauts eat, they eat at launch time, baby. It's launch time. <laughs> when they're hungry. Yeah, you're right. But they eat at launch time. Hi. No need to apologize. This is welcome. So right now, I'm pretty much just breezing through. I think I gave my uh, my basic basic tips, but then feel free to ask any questions in the meanwhile. Oh yeah, dad joke. Oh yeah, when does a joke become a dad joke? You guys know? You know what makes a joke a dad joke? Yeah, do tell. So... A dad joke. Who's <laughs> it? Launch. Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it becomes a dad when it becomes a parent. Huh? I like that one. <laughs> yeah, it becomes a dad joke when it becomes a parent. Yeah, I really like that one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they know. Colorful bulb, blub, they know. Oh yeah, these are some... Banger. Banger jokes. I'm trying to figure out how to draw tired with wide eyes. So maybe... This. Or maybe... I'll try to lid the eyes a little bit more. Deep. Deep, deep. Mm, right there. I got a corny one. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh my gosh, there's too many jokes. I can't keep up. Oh, draw one eye sort of wonky, like they're tired and annoyed. I could, yeah. So maybe... So maybe they're kind of unequal. And right there. Yeah, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it... Biblically accurate angel. I wonder the way to go. Yeah, who's there? I love the delay in chat. It's a uh, chicken. What? No way. Is this the the joke cinematic universe? They crossed over. This is the cinematic universe of jokes. The chicken and the knock knock joke. <laughs> Alright, what about this one? This one's a classic. Classic. You might know it. But what's brown and what's sticky? Do tell. Tell me, chat. What is brown and sticky? It's a stick. A stick. Come on. Oh, yeah. And it's pretty fitting that I'm working on 
confused for that one. Hmm. I think for this one, you can really exaggerate when it's wide-eyed. Deep. Deep. <laughs> it's poop. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of the best jokes that I got. But, oh man. It's always like this, man. Like, later on when I'm eating or something, I'm gonna remember, like, the best jokes. And then, boom. What? What is it? I wonder what my pet named me. <laughs> Word, I know, right? What did they call me in their head? Exaggerated. Hmm. What kind of... Are you just looking up a joke book? Are you actually going to- Yes, I am trying my best, and I think I'm almost halfway through. I have like 30, 36 minutes left. And I'm keeping it simple for now, because uh, I think I like the expressions I got. But I'm trying to figure out how to separate wide-eyed from exaggerated. Or I got it, actually. Oh my gosh. But do tell, what kind of ghosts do streets haunt? Where'd they hang out these days? Uh, exaggerated. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna draw like normal standard eyes right now. Oh, I still, I still don't know. I still don't know what kind of streets ghosts haunt. Oh, dead ends. Okay, I'm so dumb. <laughs> if it's right there the whole time. Ah! Okay, <laughs> I didn't read it. What is it called when you're blessed with pasta sauce? <laughs> the joke was there the whole time. I was just drawing your video of how to draw mechas. Oh! Nice, yeah, I really love that video. Actually, I really enjoyed drawing mechas. Because I know it's, you know, whenever I see commission sheets, it's always like, no mechas. And sometimes drawing mechas could be pretty fun, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to figure out how to separate exaggerated and wide-eyed. Maybe, hmm... Maybe I'll do something else instead of exaggerated. Maybe I'll do like blush. Blush. There you go. So like a kind of flustered flustered uh, expression. Make it nice and cute. Doop, doop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could try. I could try to be cool. I mean, it's pretty entertaining if I try, you know. I don't- I don't think Google's as funny as me. I'll just say that. And then... Yeah, I think for this one, you know, you could tell that it's sort of limited. Um, I think for blush, I really would like... A smile. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna draw like a smile for blush right here. Because you could sort of confuse it, right? You could sort of confuse it for, well, worried or angry, sad. So, yeah. Sometimes there's an overlap, you know. Can you this type of eye? Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. I'll try. Did you change one? Yes, I did. I Instead of exaggerated, I did uh, blush instead. Exactly, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I'll just, uh... I'll just add the pink blush classic. Doop, doop. There. Hmm. Actually... Maybe this is too different. Maybe I'll try like a normal... Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll make this some wide-eyed, actually, instead of it being, uh, having the 
the bottom lid be closed up. So let's see. And the terminate. Yeah, their eyes dilate. That's for sure. Yeah, you could make it. For sure. That's a really good point that I have not talked about. TBH. So yeah, maybe I'll make the eyes more dilated. And that's why in anime, they make it more sparkly, you know, to add to like the, uh, to add to the appeal, you know, exaggerate. So right there, I think I'm gonna, I think this is one of the rare ones that I will just color in. And, um, maybe I'll make it a nice blue. And I'm gonna show you guys how to combine like two different colors right here. So I think I want to combine two for this one. Then, and then I'm gonna make it darker. And usually I use an airbrush. So if you're doing this traditionally, you would like, you would mix it slowly with your colored pencil or whichever one you want. Try to build up the color slowly. And you can see that there's a nice difference, right? We have this like nice purple. And then we have like this uh, magenta, dark magenta. I'm gonna fix the eye shape a little bit. There. And let's see. And I think I'm going to uh, bring it up a bit again. And erase to try and match the shape. Um, now I'm going to add all the sparkles. Mm, kind of looks... Maybe I should use reference <laughs> for sparkles. And I should shape this in. Yeah, it definitely takes way too long if I try to color everything. I wish I could. And what what is chat up to? Let's see. Chat, if nothing is divided by nothing, there's nothing to divide it. You divide it with vision. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I saw this really funny video actually of this kid doing his homework. And he was whispering to Alexa. He was whispering like, uh, Alexa, what is this minus that and alexa would whisper back so alexa would be whispering the answers and stuff it's crazy deep, deep. yeah the little kid mm. yeah you could tell i should have Hmm, trying to see what would be satisfying for eye sparkles and what color did the eye whites. And erase that. <laughs> I want to help me with my math. It could be, yeah, that's that's true. Uh, right there, merge it. There. Because sometimes they put like the heart over here. Just like that. As many blush as you want. Then darken that. And that. Mm, what time is it? Oh yeah, Black Sclera. True. Are these streams archived? Yes, they are archived, so worry not. But you'll miss out because in the archive you can't you don't get to interact, you know, with the chats. Hmm. What was I doing? It's sad. Maybe this one's embarrassed. This one's more embarrassed. Expression. Beep. Mm. 
and then maybe I'm gonna change the bottom island a little bit to make it look like they're holding back tears. Yeah, it's really messy. You can tell it's getting really messy because we have 30 minutes left. And I have how many more? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, or 22, 24, 26. 26 more eyes. This is a descent of madness. Yeah, maybe at some point, if I feel like I'm not going to make it, I'm just going to color all of them in. And I tried my best. Let's see. Black Scalar, Demon character. <laughs> I know. Demons are my favorite. Boston. And... And there we go, nice and blushed, and now angry, angry blush. So I think I'm really gonna. There you go. You baka. <laughs> the classic. What? Kimchi, you guys are making me hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I haven't eaten brunch. And you guys are out here talking about food. Um, 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 um. Why are we talking about food again? I guess everybody's really hungry for some reason. And the blush. There you go. So, I guess to, to sum it up, right? What I've been doing has just been... Playing with the eyebrows, playing with the eyelids to really change the expression. So change up the sizes of stuff to uh, to really express, you know, express what you're trying to express. How do you determine the direction of the pupil from perspective side angles? That's a good question. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw another three quarters eye right here. Um, the way I decide it is first I draw the eyes because that's pretty much the important part. Right here, I draw this again. Or maybe like that. So I like to draw the eyes first because afterwards you could pretty much just decide um, how to how to draw the pupils. Because I decide where the pupils look depending on where I want them to look, I guess. So. If I want them to be looking down, I think it just adds to the effect, you know, when they're tired, they're looking down and stuff. So, just to answer your question, I decide the pupils by deciding where I want them to look. And, yeah, the effect that it gives, I guess. You know what? I can't draw this without nose. So, I'll try to draw a nose <laughs> just so I have reference frame of reference on how these eyes are these eyes are going or maybe i'll just i should have kept it simple <laughs> i'll just keep it simple right here yeah sometimes keeping it simple is the answer and I'm trying to keep up <laughs> Um, what time is it actually? We have eight minutes. Oh, no, we do not talk about personal info here. Do not, do not share before you do. You know, talking about school is fine, but don't talk about specific schools. Just as a reminder, guys. Yeah, yeah. 
No sharing. No personal info. Thought streams are supposed to be around 90 minutes? Yeah, that's right. We have 30 minutes left. 30 minutes. Yeah, and uh, no sharing names. Try not to share names. Everybody has a secret identity here. So what was I doing? Blushing, tired eyes. What number of eyes are we on now? 5, 10, 15, wait, no wait, what am I doing? This is a uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 20, 30, 28, I guess, 29 almost. So, wait, hold up, 29 pairs actually, is that right? No, I can't count. <laughs> ah, okay, 20... Two, four, six, eight. So twenty-eight. Yeah, I was right. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Dude, what? Ain't no way. Are you telling me we already know your name, Sue? Ain't no way. And I guess uh, you have to remind everybody. Uh, if you guys have questions about the stream, you know, I do want to, it's fun to have, what's it called, fun to have all these conversations, but I do want to keep it to the stream sometimes. So, blushy, tired eyes. And then I like to add the eye bags. What? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, even though the internet's fun, it's a not so fun place sometimes, you know. You won't want, like, unwanted attention, you know. And it's weird. You still gotta be careful. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls right now. Because he said that. <laughs> Advice on when to use certain eye shapes. Uh, what do you mean, certain eye shapes? Because, uh, I think so far, I think the way to describe it, right? Because everybody's eyes are differently shaped. So, for example, maybe somebody has eyes like this as a more neutral one. Maybe, let's see, to convey something about a character. Um, I think when it comes to that sort of stuff, the first thing you should decide is the default eye shape of your character. So for example, this is my default eye shape for my character. Maybe they're like narrow-eyed, right? So they're not really angry. They're not sad. It's just the way that their eyes are, right? They have like this uh, narrow eye. And so it's up to you to, uh, what's it called? It's up to you to sort of morph the eye around. So maybe something like this is pretty wide-eyed for this narrow-eyed character. So like you could see more, right? So first start of business is to decide the eye shape and then try to work with the the eye shape. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't just change all of a sudden, right? So this narrow eyed character, they wouldn't make an expression like this, right? Because that's just a completely different eye at this point. So it's sort of a fine line, you know, a balance. B and eyes are great. For sure. It's a difficult question. <laughs> this be nice. I mean, I did have a, a different avatar. I don't know if you guys remember, but in my first stream, I had a completely different avatar. I think you guys could look up the armor stream. You could you could see how nervous I was. <laughs> I was like so nervous. Beans. What was it? Confused, nervous. And let's see. Where is Dip Dip and <laughs> Photoshop? I mean I said I did it for my doodle. Where is it? Where's my doodle? There you go. Oh hi. 
There you go. Boom. You guys didn't want bean eyes? This is this is what I look like without bean eyes. There you go. But then now I got 15 minutes. Uh let's see. I got teary eyes and nervous eyes. Hmm. Maybe, I think I'm gonna leave it here, actually. I'm just gonna try to fix up the eyes that we already got in the 15 minutes. Sadly, we only made it to how many? 30 pairs? Or, no, uh, yeah, 30, I guess. 30 is the best we could do. Or 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hmm? Wait, I'm trying to think. You know what? I think I can't math. I think I only have like 50 eyes actually. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, my brain is malfunctioning right now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So even if I did finish this grid, I only would have finished like 50 eyes. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna... I can't count. No. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna draw these confused blushing eyes, because that's me right now. It's so me. Maybe I'll try a different angle. Because it's all looking to the left. 28 single eyes. We might have to do- I don't know if I want to do a part 2. Maybe if the part 2 is biblically accurate angel, then I would, but... Uh... Yeah, I kind of can't count. Uh, I kind of haven't gone to a math class in so many years. When was the last time I went to a math class? I'm trying to think. I think it's been like six, seven years. I don't know. Uh, what was I doing? Confused. Confused blushy eyes. Deep, deep. Uh, where is it? There you go. So, this is a... I mean, I would have went for more eye diversity, actually, if I... <laughs> I really thought that I would finish 100 eyes. What was I cooking? I was not cooking at all. Realistic angle part two. Then we could do a goat. That's true. Yeah, all like the fancy, all the fancy colored eyes. That's true. Maybe uh, maybe I will do that now. Cause what time is it? Fifteen minutes. We're lots of cool pupil shapes. And I think I mostly did the. Uh, I know these are anime eyes, but they're not much uh, in the diversity of the eye department. Let's see. But, you know, I still am happy though with the way uh, the expressions came out. I think I expressed them quite well. You know. Right there, expressed the expressions. And right there. So, hmm, I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll do some icons, I guess. Some icons on the eye. Some of them. So first I will color all the eye whites in a really messy way. But I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of figure, like, when I was planning the stream, you know, a hundred eyes, I was gonna try my best to do 100 eyes, but I mostly just wanted to have fun in the chat, too. I think that was a... That was it's fun in the chat. And it's a good stream. Toot. Toot. Trying. Cute needles. I just wanna know. Uh, let's see. Could she... I mean, you can... You can submit it in the Discord. If you, uh, wanna share art. Or you could post on, uh... Instagram, tag us. That's another way. Don't want to make an account. 
But yes, do tell. What what is your joke? Yes, there you go. Daria sent the, the link. And let's see. I think this is the best I could do. Wow. Look kinda nice. True bags on your tired eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'll draw some nice red eyes on this one. Did you hear about the guy who made the knock-knock joke? No, I did not. What about the person who made that knock-knock joke? What about him? Maybe I'm gonna make this really unique colored. And then the next one, I'm gonna make the icon eyes. What? He used that one earlier. I saw that one. The Nobel Prize. <laughs> That's still a pretty good one. I think I've heard that one before. Classic. Classic joke. Mm. Yeah, it colors like a dragon fruit. Yeah, nice. Nice green. Right? Yeah, you found it? You found it, Sue? Wait, that was my that was my art style. <laughs> How am I drawing with my pen up? What do you think my other hand is doing? <laughs> I'm drawing with it. The other hand, this one is just for show. Can I say Sui? <laughs> Sui chan. Yomo kawaii. What happens if ice cream gets angry? Hey Sui. I don't know what that means. <laughs> say sheesh. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm supposed to be drawing 100 eyes right now. But it's so obvious that I can't draw 100 eyes right now. <laughs> okay. Two for sure in a tank. How do I drive this thing? Yeah. This stream, it's devolved. I really thought I could make 100 eyes. In one one hour and thirty minutes, but maybe that's another lesson, you know. Like, take your time. Just take your time, because what's the point of rushing it, you know? If you don't have like a good, good uh, outcome in the end. But yeah. Dude. Dude. <laughs> what? You can draw one hundred one eyes. Well, I could do that right now too, actually. So, how many do we got? We got 30, right? 30. Then we got 31, 32, 33. But, nah. Lame. <laughs> yeah, it reminds you of this one clip that I saw. Where there's a streamer. Right? There's a streamer. And there's a fridge behind them. And chat keeps asking. Like, what's in the fridge? What's in your fridge? And then the guy's like, what? You guys want to see what's in my fridge? You guys want to see what's in my fridge? And then he pulls it out. It was a cardboard cutout of a fridge the whole time. There is no fridge. <laughs> there is no fridge. But that was so funny. <laughs> I don't know who the streamer is, but that clip is it's pretty funny. Classic. Yeah, the pure blue, right? It's so nice. And maybe I should make it more expressive, more sparkly. And... And I'm gonna brighten up a little bit because I am very time conscious. Can you make eyes of the Among Us method? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, so... Actually, that would have been perfect for Teary. Maybe I'll make that as a bonus. Okay. Thank you for suggesting that. So first, you draw Among Us. You draw two Among Us, like, looking at each other. Right here. 
So we got two Among Us. I forgot about that, that meme. And then the eye, and then the tears, you know, there you go. And then maybe this is the character with the black Scalera, because you know, it's like outer space right here. There you go. You guys made me do this. This is the Among Us method. This is a secret forbidden technique. <laughs> yes! Why didn't I think of it? Because he has to play area cast. Wow. And... Hit there. And then I'm... I'm gonna make it the, the most sus among us. It's always the red one who's sus. So now I will add that. And then... Here you go. This is a... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really nice. The Among Us method... It's actually pretty good. It's 10 out of 10 material right here. And... Now I merge them. The imposter. <laughs> And just like that, we have the red among us eyes right here. <laughs> A boom. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to trying to think of what else to do. Because I guess uh, I haven't colored the other eyes yet. And I have nine minutes. Nine minutes to do stuff. Yeah, eyebrows are super expressive. That's uh, it helps a lot, you know, because expressions they're they're a collaborative effort. You know, you could you could express a lot with the eyes, but you could express even more, you know, with the with all the different different colors. And let's see, it's perfect actually. Uh, there and. I guess you guys could suggest some eye colors if you'd like to. Some beautiful anime eyes. Thank you. And more yees. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll, nice, I'll make a nice blue for the tired eyes right here. Deep. Deep. And a bit darker. Just like that. And like that. Nice sea blue. And honestly, these eyes are pretty messy. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep that one black. Because I think it's pretty fitting. And... What else? White. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of... kind of wish I remembered the Among Us eye method way earlier. But uh, it's too late for it now. And... Then what, what color haven't we used, actually? I think we've used most of it. Red, yellow, maybe yellow. Did use orange. Right here. Blood red. I, I kind of did for the Among Us eyes. <laughs> well, it's not blood red, but it's red nonetheless. Right here. And darken this. And you can see that whenever I'm darkening eyes, right? I'm not really using gray or black. I'm using orange, or I'm mo I'm moving around in the color wheel, and then and then making it darker to really add the effect. <laughs> green. Uh, I guess I sort of did use green. Hold on. And where is it? This one. I will. Darken the eyes a little bit. And then, right there, the basic eye shine. And then I wanted to do like icons for, for the last one. 
and cartoony. Or maybe, hmm. Because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this last set. Because we got five minutes. So I guess quick, give me, give me ideas for what kind of icon you guys would like to do. For the eyes. For each one of the wide-eyed sets. What do you guys want to do? Inklings? Uh, I don't know. Inklings are so simple because I could draw right now. Inklings are just this. Just the eye and the eye mask. Pretty easy peasy, right? And the eye mask. Just like that. Space eyes. Okay, maybe I'll do space eyes for the... Uh, for this one. Uh, I'll do... I'll do them a nice blue. And... And then... Yeah, that's right. Then I do a nice black for the eyes here. And then I add the sparkles with my handy dandy spray. Doop, doop. And doop, doop. And I'm gonna zoom all the way out to see the whole thing. Adding eye shines and shadows is most satisfying. I know, right? It's just so so fun. Just adding the gradient. I never get tired of it. Oh show. And then, hmm, maybe I'll make this one a little bit more blue than white, because it's very desaturated. Or, I'm using the wrong spray. Right here, and then I'll add the sparkles, the main sparkles. Maybe I will add like a highlight, kind of like a line art around the the pupil. Then maybe these are like stars, more stars. Doop, doop. Yeah, and I like to add pairs because not even stars, stars can't be lonely. You need at least one pair, just like that. And... Right here. Maybe I'll add like a touch of yellow. Like right there. Nice and sparkly star eyes. Just like that. Alright, bye. For the people who are leaving. She keeps giving you ads. Bye, Orange. See you around. And what time is it? Okay, three minutes. Uh, maybe for fire. For angry, I'll just do like a nice red. And here, this one I will do the the hot red, finally. The Cheetos red. Cheetos flaming hot. Baja Blast. Right there, red. And then maybe a nice orange for the fiery, fiery look. Doot doot. Yeah, starry eyed. Yeah, fiery. Because uh, I think I should have I should have uh, spent more time talking about how to make icon eyes. <laughs> Alright, bye. See ya. Yeah, Rengoku colored eyes for sure. Mm, let's see. I zoom out. Now I'm trying to see. We drew 31 eyes. Or 31... Or 32. Can't count. What about eyes with thicker line art? Sure. I could do that for one of them. I think I'll do that for wide-eyed. Yes. Yeah, I'll do a technique that I see some of my friends do, actually. So they do this, right? But they do, like, the really sharp. And then they draw, like, the eyelashes at the bottom right here because i really love the look but i just never do it so it's like this i'm gonna yassify this one 
the Yashify right there and right there. And what they do is they extend the eye whites like this. I've seen some artists do it. My friends do it sometimes too. And it has a really nice effect, even though it doesn't make sense. Deep, deep. Yeah, it's just really, it has a really nice feel to it whenever I see it. Right there. Then I go back and thicken the line art. It kind of has this nice a beastly effect to it, you know, like or otherworldly sort of feel. I think they would they would have done it better because I more practice, but let's see. Maybe I'll try doing it just for the top. But I think it's still nice actually. I'll leave it like this. Yeah, there's lots of ways to really uh well, to customize your eyes, but I guess to sum it up, right? I taught you guys how to do the expressions, you know, the minor changes. And this is pretty much like the foundation. Because if you have a good foundation, you could see how much customization you could do, right? As long as you keep the original idea of like the eye positioning, the eyelids, how they're, they're like tensed up, or like how the eyebrows are going, you can pretty much do whatever you want. As long as you keep the original shape, more or less. So like I added these crazy eyelashes. But I think it still uh, stays true to the expression. So it's all about that balance. Yeah, and sadly, I don't know. This is all I could, I could do. No 100 eyes, but I did have fun. And I hope you guys did too. And I think I'm about to wrap up now. And before I go, I do want to remind everybody that we're not just a YouTube channel, we're also an art school, right? So if you want to, you could feel free to check our website because we do have classes. You know, I teach classes too. So if you want classes with my feedback and you can do assignments with me, feel free to take a look-see and you can become a member to keep supporting us so we could be free content, you know, maybe on Patreon, maybe on YouTube. But uh yeah, each of them have their own benefits. Like you, you could get this file, and all the other files that I've worked on, pretty much on the stream. But uh, I think that's about it. It's a lot of fun, guys, and I hope you guys see it in a different way now. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna end off on. But uh, yeah, bye, bye everyone. But hold on, if you do part two, demonize. Uh, we'll see, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, see you guys around. Bye-bye. See you next week. Or wait, no, there's no stream next week, I think. Uh, just uh, keep an eye out for our streams, I guess. Bye-bye. See ya.